Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to camp, or I should say the pop-up camper. If you're new to the channel, this is where I usually spend uh, my summers camping. Uh, it's my father-in-law's uh, property. He was kind enough to let me uh, put my pop-up camper here. Uh, but as you can see, summer is over and winter is upon us. If you're a subscriber to my channel, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate the support. So the camper's closed up for the winter. I left my batteries in there because I wanted to test out that insulated battery box that I made. But today I'm going to open this thing up and get them out of there. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want the coal to get to them. Plus, I don't want to keep opening and closing the camper because the, all the bunk end material is really stiff when it's cold. So I just want to open it up, check them, see if they are still charged with this uh, solar panel right here. That's just a 40 watt. So you'll just get a trickle charge out of that. All right, so uh, let's open this up and see what we got. All right, guys, here we are inside the camper. I have these uh, two batteries, uh, deep cycle batteries set up in parallel. Uh, if you want to know how to make this battery box, if you want to know how to set up these batteries like this, I have it all on my channel. So as you can see right there, it says that it's charging even though it's a cloudy day. Uh, we've got some cold weather too, minus 12, minus 13 Celsius at night. And you can see that uh, the battery is still 12.90, so that's good. So that means that the trickle charge is keeping from the 40 watt panels, keeping them charged and the insulated battery box is keeping them warm enough. So uh, that's a good sign. But you know what, I'm gonna take them out anyway because I don't wanna leave them here all winter just in case. I'm gonna take them out, do some maintenance on them and uh, put them away for the winter. Like I said, if you wanna know how to build this battery box or do anything with these batteries or set them up like this, uh, this is a 12 foot box. So I have a little bit of a bigger uh, couch seating area here. So I don't know if you can do this in an eight foot box, but uh, yeah, everything's on my channel if you wanna check that out. Uh, also, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go over, uh, check out the mouse traps here. Yeah, there's nothing in there. There's a damp trap way over there doing its job. I have a, a scent, uh, whatever you want to call it in here, deodorizer. So it'll, uh, it smells it, uh, smells really perfume in here. That's supposed to keep the uh, mice away. So so got all the, uh, got the two batteries out. That's what it looks like when they're out. You see there's even a piece of foam there on the bottom. Uh, to keep the batteries nice and warm. So that's it until uh, next spring. Uh, I'm going to close up the camper for one last time. It'll just be opening and checking on it, uh, opening it up just a little bit to open the door to check on it during the winter. So that's it for this year. It's got the camper closed uh, back up here. Uh, you really don't want to be fooling around with the bunk end material and stuff like that. It's really stiff, really brittle. You feel like you know, you can punch a hole in it uh, real easy. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for camping 2021. Uh, I'm going to wait till the snow flies, uh, which is supposed to be tomorrow. I'm going to probably put a tent here, do some winter camping. So stay tuned for that. Um, I got the batteries out. I got the solar panel. Everything's winterized. Everything's ready to go uh, until next spring. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Until next time.